Dan Valentine is a wildlife trooper, a division of the state troopers responsible for protecting Alaska's wildlife and natural resources, including its bears. In this region of Alaska, black bears are hunted year round. And today, Valentine's heading into the woods to check bear bait stations. This is a, a 12 gauge shotgun, it's a Remington 870. And since we are walking into where bears are being fed by a person, I don't want to walk in there with just, say, a handgun, because there very well could be a bear where we're going right now. And so I just want to have protection for myself for that, for the, if we happen to have that encounter right now. Bear baiting is when hunters lay out food for bears and then wait for them to arrive. It's a legal form of hunting, but is strictly regulated by the wildlife troopers. I'm listening, I'm looking, and I'm even smelling just to try to figure out, you know, sometimes you can definitely smell bears. Southern Alaska has one of the highest rates of bear attacks in the country. The bear bait stand is right up there. The hunter actually sits up there, watches the entire area. The bait can is actually right here. And they actually leave a pile of food there. You got old donuts in there mixed with dog food. Sometimes people use grease collected from fryers or mixes of like corn, oats, and barley. And they'll put all that there and the bear will start to frequent that area to come and eat. Now you're supposed to have a sign posted here that I'm not seeing at the moment. This bait station is up to code, but hunters who don't comply with the rules could face thousands of dollars in fines and jail time. Hunting and fishing are popular pastimes on the Kenai, so wildlife troopers are constantly exploring the wilderness. I love being out here every single day. It's definitely an excellent job. 